Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we continue on this series on discipleship, we ask, Lord, that again that you will teach us even your word and reveal to us what it means to be your disciples indeed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we're continuing from where we stopped, and our text has been taken from Mark chapter 8, you know, verse 34, where Jesus said, If a man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Amen. And we said discipleship is basically the process of making you to be conformed to the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is also the process by which the life of the vine flows into the branches. Amen. Now, in our last series, we're able to establish, you know, that discipleship is more of about being with Jesus. Listen, if you're going to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, if you're going to act like Jesus, you're going to talk like Jesus, you're going to walk like Jesus, then you must spend time with Jesus. Amen? Praise God. Uh, we establish also that when, when Jesus ordained the 12 disciples, the Bible says he ordained them that they might be with him and that he might send them forth. Now, the first thing Jesus wanted to do with them after ordaining them was not to send them forth. The first thing was that they would be with him. Amen? And we said in the book of, in, sorry, in Antioch, in the book of Acts, the record is that the, 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 this category of people were called, were called Christians because people identified that they had been with Jesus. And so the crucial thing is about being with Jesus. Amen. Now, let's, let's look at the case of Moses. In the book of Exodus, God commanded Moses, you know, to be with him for 40 days and 40 nights. And Moses spent 40 days, 40 nights, you know, on the Mount of Sinai. And basically, I believe he must have been praying, must have been worshipping, he must have been praising. Nothing other than that he would have been doing there because he had, he had no communication with anybody, I mean with any human. He was, he, he was secluded, he was all alone with God. And by the time he came down from the mount, the Bible says that his face was shining. You know, like the midday sun, that even the Israelites could not look at him face to face. They had to, Moses had to veil his face when he came to the people. And it was only when he was returning to God that he removed, you know, the veil. Why was his face shining? His face was shining because he had been 40 days in the presence of God. As he spent time with God, as he remained in the presence of God, he got transformed. Amen. Now, who is God? The Bible says that God is light. And in him, there is no darkness at all. And because Moses spent time before spent time before the light, he spent time with the light, he became transformed, you know, into the light himself. When you spend time with Jesus, you will be transformed into Jesus. Your countenance will be altered. Your life will be changed. Your predisposition to life will even be changed. Your thoughts, your thinking pattern about things in life will change. And it is because we don't spend enough time before God. That is why our countenances, our actions, our utterances, you know, our lifestyle, they are not changed. Jesus ordained these disciples that they might be with him. You've got to be with Jesus. You've got to spend time with him. It is as you spend time with Jesus that you are transformed, that you are changed by the Spirit of God. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says, we all, we all like, like an open glass, as we behold the glory of God, it says we are transformed into the image of the Lord Jesus from glory to glory. You get transformed as you spend time with Jesus. Jesus commanded the disciples to be with him that he might send them forth. You've got to be with Jesus. You've got to spend quality time with him. And as you spend quality time with him, definitely you will be conformed. You will be transformed until you get conformed, you know, with the image of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will teach us to spend time with you. You will help us, O oh Lord. You will grant us the joy, the steam power of being with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God.